Today, we'll explore composting, an age-old technique for turning waste, such as food scraps or animal carcasses, into a treasure trove of nutrient-rich soil for gardens or farms. Composting effectively breaks down organic materials by creating the conditions for natural decomposers to thrive. In a well-constructed compost pile, bacterial decomposers have just the right balance of food, water, and air to supercharge their population growth and activity. This increased activity raises the temperature in the pile, leading to higher rates of evaporation and the inactivation of most harmful bacteria in the waste material. Leachate is the liquid material that escapes from a waste pile. Leachate can contain potentially harmful chemicals and pathogens, which is why constructing a compost pile to reduce leachate is essential to preserve local surface and groundwater sources. The primary tool for reducing leachate is to maintain high pile temperatures. The other tool is to make sure to include absorbent materials, like leaves, wood chips, or shredded paper that help retain moisture while providing a source of valuable carbon for decomposer bacteria to munch on. The final product of composting is a soil amendment rich in organic matter, hummus, microorganisms, and nutrients that plants need to grow. Compost chemicals are different from most fertilizers because they are present in what is called an organic form. Plants do not immediately use organic forms of chemicals. They require soil bacteria to transform the organic chemicals into types of chemicals plants can use. Slow-release fertilizers like compost give plants nutrients little by little as they grow rather than all at once. This is important because nutrients that are just sitting in the soil waiting for a plant to grow tend to get picked up by water and taken away from the plant. When creating a compost pile, the correct amount and type of materials are essential to creating an environment where the potentially disease-causing pathogens and animal carcasses are minimized. Proper composting pile creation will also limit the capacity for wildlife interference and weed seed preservation. The key factor in successful composting is achieving the right balance of carbon-rich browns and nitrogen-rich greens. Start your compost pile with a two to three feet thick carbon bottom layer, often called browns. Usually the browns are chosen according to availability. These can be pruning residues, sawdust, wood chips, straw, crop residues, or corn stoves. Atop the brown layer with a two foot buffer between the edges of the compost pile will lay the animal carcass. Animal carcasses are nitrogen rich sources for microbial growth and are often called greens. When composting animal carcasses, the browns must fully surround and dominate the greens. Layer the carcass with another two to three feet of brown material to ensure this. Too little brown material will attract pests and prevent the composing pile from reaching the necessary temperatures for microbes to break down the carcass and kill off pathogens entirely. The EPA provides guidelines for recommending the temperature in livestock mortality compost piles required to inactivate common pathogens. Additional factors to successful compost piles are turning it frequently to add oxygen and maintaining a moist but not soggy pile. Adding a bit of moisture will help the greens and browns break down, but too much moisture will result in strong odors. In wet environments, your compost pile should be covered either with a tarp or roof to prevent leachate mixing with precipitation. If precipitation mixes with the leachate, it will increase the total volume of water in contact with the decomposing animals and create additional contaminant control problems. Composting is a circular economy alternative, generating environmental and economic benefits by reducing the use of fertilizers. Composting is not just a sustainable practice. It's a way to regenerate our soil and contribute to a healthier environment. Compost enriches soil with organic matter, improving nutrient availability in soil structure, and enhances the soil's ability to retain moisture, reducing the need for irrigation. Whether you're composting in your backyard or on a small farm, the benefits are undeniable. Start your composting journey today and watch your crops thrive.